guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is sneha and welcome to hopefully what is a vlog so yeah today is saturday it's around 8 15 am and i'm just about to head out of the house because i have an exciting day planned i am going for a book themed walk um in matunga in mumbai um basically i am going with this touring uh, Instagram page and they are doing a book themed walk where they are going to take you to two booksellers. Uh, one is a famous uh, footpath bookseller. His name is Hitler. Yes, that's his name. And also we are going to another one whom I've never visited before. So I'm really excited. I haven't bought books like this in a bit. I'm hoping to get some good deals and maybe get some like unique finds. I don't want to just splurge on things that I can find any day probably. So I am very, very excited. So yeah, I am uh, going to leave in a bit. I have just booked my cab. I'm just going to wait for it and I'm going to take you around and show you the sights of the day. I'm really excited. I've been looking forward to this um, since the entire week <laughs> since I've booked this. So yeah, let's go. It's around 1.45 p.m. and it was a very, very fruitful book walk. Um, <laughs> of course, I binged quite a bit. Um, <laughs> let me just show you the stack that I've accumulated and then I'll show you the books. So this is today's haul, thrift haul and um, I'm so happy with them. So yeah, we went to two places. We went to the book stall in Matunga, which is run by Hitler, who's a very famous book dealer in Mumbai. A uh, lot of people know about him and he, he specializes in like antique uh, books, which you can buy from him. Basically, he gets a lot of these books from, you know, people who are looking to get rid of their collections and a lot of like out, print, out of print versions or first editions and stuff like that. So uh, he has this small stall in Matunga and it's absolutely filled with treasures. It takes, you need some time and some patience to just dig out books, but you just, you get such great picks there. And then as part of the walk, we also went to um, this new place called Dedica dedication books and uh, it's been run by this gentleman who used to be a nationwide book supplier and he's now trying to set up something on his own and uh, he has like this room in his bungalow where he was selling books out of so that was also fun i've never been there so that was that was an interesting um experience but yeah it was overall a great walk got to meet some like-minded people and chat with them about books and just chat with them in, in in general and firstly let's talk about the books that i got from hitler so i bought how many one two three four five six seven eight books from mr hitler and uh, the very first book that i picked out from his stall was two lives by vikram Seth. i love 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 vikram Seth. To be honest, I only ever read The Suitable Boy by him and now I have two of his other full-scale novels just waiting in my physical TBR to be read. But uh, this is a gorgeous hardback version of it and honestly, all of these books I know nothing about. I just picked them for the condition and the edition and just how 
nice they look so if i know something about the book i'll tell you but let's just assume that i don't know anything about the books that i'm talking about second book that i found was this gorgeous hardback edition of macbeth and the emperor jones so this is a nobles comparative classic and a lot of the books in hitler stand had this like name on them so i think it must be somebody's collection that unfortunately has been sold uh, to hitler because i think maybe he passed away and then you know his collection was kind of like sold off to mr hitler but anyway i just love this edition so it has macbeth by william shakespeare and it has the emperor jones by eugene o'neil i have never never properly read shakespeare before but uh, i don't know i really really loved this edition and it seemed like it's an educational edition because it has like all these like versification it explains it explains about the elizabethan theater and all of that and has like these illustrations and stuff so just i don't know sounds like an interesting edition to own and happy with this uh then let's move on to thomas hardy jude the obscure this is another hardback that i bought from mr hitler and it's actually in like great shape for how old this is this says this is 1963 press but it's just in great shape and the papers are just like like just look at that paper the quality of the paper is just so delicate i mean i love so anyway that's another book that i bought ah uh, what is jude the obscure about so yeah like i said i don't know too much about any of the books that i bought i bought them mainly for their edition but uh, moving on i also have the adolescence of zenia lovers by boris pastinek um it's this is the same author who wrote, wrote dr zivago a book that i have not yet read but i own but i'll get to it it says it's an enthralling novelette by the author of dr zivago how a 13 year old girl ceases to be a child and becomes a woman in russia just before the communist revolution so i love this design i mean it's just i love these old school editions which have so very interesting covers so much more interesting than the present generation of book covers i think but yeah then i have this hardback norman mailer the naked and the death this is a modern library book it says and uh, this one is a little worse for wear i'm not going to oh, okay so a bunch of like these old school composition papers just fell out but seems like they're all plain papers so sad anyway i just saw this and the only thing i know of the only thing i relate to norman mailer is that there's an episode in uh, gilmore girls <laughs> where norman mailer um, the actual real life author is visiting the inn and then he keeps ordering iced tea and then suki gets irritated that he's not ordering food but then she realizes that she's pregnant by the end of that episode so she runs out screaming norman mailer i'm pregnant and that's the only thing I'm, i know about norman mailer but i know that he's like a classic american author and this is one of his greatest books so i saw this there were quite a few editions of this book in that book stall but i like this one the most i love this green so yeah then i have another hardback this is emil zola's germinal and this is an every man's library edition but it's a very old edition um i love the shade of purple i mean just look at that it's so beautiful it's so eye catching that i just could not put it down and this is an epic of the class war and it seems to be a book that was written by zola at the height of his literary capabilities and that's all i know um uh, what year was this published this was published in 1964 i think so Yeah the pages are all in great great condition i wouldn't expect it because these books have been pretty much left out and out to the elements but they're in great condition so so happy with this one then i have a nobukov short story laughter in the dark um this is a penguin edition and uh, i don't know man i tried to read lolita but i think the subject matter is a little too much for me but i just love his writing so much that maybe i should start with one of you know his other non uncomfortable kind of books so maybe i start with this who knows but yeah i love i love these old penguin books you don't really get them too often except like in these really vintage 
book stores and I'm so so glad to have found this one then the last book at uh, Hitler's is this one I'd already paid for the rest of them when I saw this this is perfume by Patrick Seskin this is the book on which the famous movie is made and yes it is a little explicit but I am not monetized on YouTube so it should be fine right uh, so yeah those are all the books that I got at Hitler's stand now moving on to the dedication book center I only got three books from there because uh, Honestly, the other, the books that I saw there were a little generic and I didn't want to spend too much money on generic books. I was looking for something like that I don't get in usual bookshops. So that's why I stuck to only three. Uh, the first one is Gulzar, Footprints on Zero Line. These are a collection of his writings on partition. So they are fiction, non-fiction and including his poems. Now Gulzar is a very, very famous Indian uh, screenwriter, lyricist, filmmaker, poet, everything he's a master of his words and uh, if Gulzar has written something it, it would mean beautiful words with beautiful meaning and I've heard great things about this his book on partition and I've wanted the book since some time now so that's why I saw this and I was excited to add it to my collection this one is a used copy so yeah the next book I have is a brand new copy this is Sun Catcher by Romesh Gunasekar and I really wanted to read Romesh Gunasekar and for a bit now basically he's a Sri Lankan author and he writes about Sri Lanka and growing up in Sri Lanka and um, I don't know I've never read I know I have read only one Sri Lankan book before but uh, he's a famous writer from the country so excited to check him out and then the last book for this haul is a non-fiction this is Gita Press and the Making of Hindu India by Akshaya Mukul I knew nothing about this book but uh, the people that I was with um, they were speaking very highly of this book um, basically how the Gita press was created in the 1920s who created it and how it really marked the beginning of the idea of a Hindu India so I don't know sounds like a very relevant book for the times I think that's all that's all I'm gonna say so yeah thank you so much for watching that's it for today's bookish day um, <laughs> uh, bookish day uh, chronicles in my life today we went to Matunga and Chembur and had a lot of fun I met a lot of really nice people and people that I really bonded with and hopefully I'll do more of these in the future so yeah thank you so much for watching if you're still around please like share comment all of that and I'll see you very very soon